Hey Adventurers Love community, welcome back to another video. My name is Jake Whip, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to put a text or any other object behind a detailed object inside of a moving video in DaVinci Resolve 16. Now I've seen a lot of videos uh, putting text behind objects that are just like uh, simple things, uh, like just say like a pole or uh, something that can easily be rotoed out. But what if it's something a lot more difficult? Let's say a tree uh, or something like that. So as you can see in my fusion composition there, I just have this uh, tree here, uh, this like palm palm branch and as you can see the text is behind it perfectly and this is a super easy effect to do and I'll show you guys how to do that in just a second but before we do that if you guys are new here make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and also comment if you guys have any questions also join the DaVinci Resolve community discord server it's a place you guys can ask questions and get answers in real time link in the description below all right so I'm just back on the edit page here what I'm gonna do is drag down my sunset clip again okay I'm just gonna delete the audio and now let's go into fusion and so the first step that we're gonna do is is extract the stuff that we want in front and as you can see that is going to be the tree here okay what we're going to be using for this shot is the luma gear and what it does is it does like a green screen effect but to luma values luma values are brightness values so white is going to be one and z black is going to be zero okay so let's come into here and then do shift space type luma gear all right and as you can see this will give us kind of a cool effect um it's making the tree transparent and the sky is still solid so let's tune this so that the sky is uh almost completely solid and the tree is also still transparent so let's bring down the high there until it starts adding all those little black marks inside the tree that's not going to be good because that's bringing back the detail in the tree okay and uh, let's do some about like that okay then we can also come down and adjust the contract slash expand and we can bring that up just a little we can also play around with gamma settings uh, so I'm going to do that. That's looking pretty good. And now what we're going to do is uh, merge this up just like so, okay? So we're going to take the media in, drag it down, and we'll merge that up with the Luma Keyer, okay? And now let's just do Control-T to switch the inputs so that the Luma Keyer is coming in on top of the merge and the original one is coming into the bottom, okay? And now what we'll do is we'll stick whatever object that we want, like a logo, text, anything, in between the media in one and the merge, okay? And so I have to spring down the text. Um, what I'll do is I'll merge it up. And as you can see, that's going to have the second merge come into the Luma gear. So let's disconnect that and bring the media N1 into the Luma gear. Now if I come into the text, and then just do like sunset. And now as you can see, nothing changed. And that's because in the Luma gear, as you can see, it's uh, coming into the sky. The sky is not transparent. And that's why we want to be transparent. So let's come into the Luma gear and then check the invert. And now as you can see, the sunset text is right there. And now if we click this and then just drag it up, as you can see, it's going behind the palm branches. So let's go ahead and scale this up, get it to the position that we want. And now, as you can see, we can bring it behind anything that is completely dark, okay? Just like that. And now if we zoom in, you can see this is perfectly rotoscoped out. It has a lot more detail that you could do just by going through with the polygon node and adding a mask onto it. Now this won't work in every situation. Let's say you want to rotoscope out all the water. That is a very similar color, so you're not going to be able to do that. That's going to be something that you're going to have to go through and do manually. This can also work with sky. Uh, you could use like an ultra keyer um, and key out the blue. So I can show you guys how to do that right now. So let's just go ahead and delete the luma keyer. I'm going to add in the ultra keyer and connect this up just like so okay and now if we come in here and then just select uh up in the sky here we'll just find the co a color that does a pretty good job on keeping the blacks in front let's just go with something like that now this sky isn't ideal for this you'd want like a completely blue sky maybe a few clouds but then we could come over to the settings here um like the image and map and we could play around with these until we get it to look exactly how we want it, okay? But again, like I said, this is not the correct tool to be using in this situation. Well, anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys give it a like and also subscribe to my channel so you never miss an upload. Comment down below if you guys have any questions, and I'll see you guys next time for another video.